brand new video. This is looking like some David Goggins fish right now. Wrapped out for a Saturday morning run with uh, two of our friends over there and Misha behind the camera. We're just gonna do like a, an easy run, then we're gonna hit the sauna over there because apparently that's good for you. I bought some Andrew Huberman shit and he said that's good for GH growth hormone, etc. etc. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna hit the gym and then we're gonna get to Super Bowl. Man, shit, then it big is the the Super Bowl, but the difference is it's just two guys playing shit that they did in the studio. Niggas usually send their verses back to me and they be terrible just like a two-year-old. I love a dinner with some fine women. Alright, so that was a weird morning with some saunas and running. I don't have an ACL right now, so I try to do my best to, to keep up with all the other people, but I couldn't. And also, I'm uh, not in the best shape, if we call it like that, cardio-wise, but that is what it is. Now we've done some proper villa shit. We've actually been away and thrown rubbish after rubbish dump. That's something you don't do when you live in an apartment, but now when we have this villa life, that's what you gotta do. This stuff just collects, you generate it, you generate a preposterous amount of just trash from all kinds of things. So that's what uh, that's what we've been doing this morning, it's now 12.55. So a lot of the day has gone to this cleaning and this uh, kind of sauna run vibe, but um, that is what it is. Now we are gonna go back home, I'm gonna have a little bit of a snack, then we're gonna head to the gym for about an hour or, or two. And then after that, we're gonna have a productive evening where we're gonna be working on this villa app that we have, uh, where you can. That I've shown a little bit of my Instagram, but I haven't really shown it on YouTube at all. But you can manage all of the stuff, such as you can book different rooms, you can book the laundry room. There will be different tasks. People can set their status. I'll show you a little bit more later. It's quite fun. It's a little bit of a side project that we're only gonna be using in this house. Maybe if it's uh, if it feels uh, like it's a good app. I'll uh, try to commercialize it and publish it on the App Store, but for now it's just going to be an internal one. But that's the plan, gym, then productive, and we're going to squeeze some meal prep in there as well. See you on the tripod later. Peace. Alright, so we're back home from our little adventure. We got all that sorted. Now we're going to head to the gym, but before that I'm going to show you the ultimate gym snack. So, first of all, two of these sandwiches. Um, nice homemade bread. Peanut butter on those bad boys. Then one of these pickled cucumbers. And they double dose of this C4 pre-workout. Take that before you go to the gym. Oh my days, the pump is wild. So we're gonna get that down, we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna come home, read a little bit, then we're gonna get to work. Let's do it. I'm about to click, I'm down to click out on you hoes and make a crime scene. I click the trigger on a stick like a high beam. And I would bend it real quick when I was 19. She called my number, leave her hanging, she got dry clean. She got an Android, her messages is lime green. I search one name and end up seeing 20 teens. Nadine, Christine, Justine, Kathleen, Charlene, Pauline, Claudine. Man, I pack them in this phone like some sardines. And they send me naked pictures, it's the small things. You niggas still taking pictures on a golf stream. My youngest richer than you rappers in a all stream. I really hate that you've been selling them some the things we need to do today. We've went to the sauna, we've gone on a run, we've went to the gym. We have meal prep for the next week, we have plan next week in Notion, we've cleaned up a little bit. So all of those things are out of the way and now we can finally get to coding. So what we're going to be doing now is that we have, or just to give a little bit of context. I've been working on this app because as you may know I live in a collective now these days, so it's not really a collective. It's a villa with three of my best friends which is pretty nice, it's a pretty dreamy situation if you ask me. But for this we are building a companion app. So as you'll be, you see, you'll be able to set a status like do not disturb. You'll be able to send a broadcast like I'm scared of the cats right now. I'm recording a video. Please do not disturb me. Stuff like that. So that's pretty much done. I can go to this pen if, uh, on my profile. I can change to do not disturb. It will turn red. Or I can change to disturb if you want. Like I don't really want to be disturbed. But you know, if you want to, please feel free. And then you can also change this. So right now it says I'm recording a YouTube video right now. Uh, leave me alone we can say and then that will start broadcasting there so recording a YouTube video now leave me alone so you'll be able to, to see that so that's all fine and dandy that's working well what we're gonna move over now to is the calendar function so we have now used this uh, database function which is create a booking that takes a user ID and then that uses the, uh, the just the Firebase authentication logic to create the a user ID and then it will take a unique booking ID which is just generated based on a particular time uh, that this is created and then it's um, yeah it just generates a random ID for it, so that will be unique and then it uses the Firebase Firestore function to create a reference inside of the bookings collection in Firebase using that unique booking ID and then it will set all of these fields to, to empty and then what we need to edit now is that so that once you press this you're directed to a new UI screen where you're able to 
enter all of the details for this particular event that, or booking that you're making. That's gonna be tonight's task, and uh, let's see how it goes. I still wanna give me a song where I beat. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. I'm naming the album to fall off. It's pretty ironic, cause it ain't no fall off for me. Still in this bitch getting bigger. They waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league. But right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Yeah, Muhammad Ali, the one that they call when they shit ain't connecting no more Feel like I got a job in IT Rhyming with me is the biggest mistake The Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake It's like we recruited your homies to be demon deacons Later, and I have made some progress This is quite difficult actually But what we have now is that we have this standard home screen that you had before But then we can also head over to the calendar function where you can book different rooms So here we'll be adding images a little bit later on Those will be stored uh, in, uh, in the images folder over here right now we're just using this placeholder image but then we'll add some logic to say that uh, if it's this place then we're gonna show this image etc etc but right now that we're just showing this placeholder and what we have is that we have uh, this which allows you to pick a time so all of this is in the database service function and here you can update a booking and if we take a look at for example how this works you get a drop down of different uh, different selections and that comes from also using this update booking place but it's part of the event page and if we can see up on the event page we have all these rooms and then we can see we have space options as a part of this drop down button menu where it will take the different things that we have in that one and it will uh, allow you to select those so we also have this which is on changed which is um, what happens when you essentially change one of these things and that goes to the database service and it updates the booking and it sends the booking ID and it says to update the space and with a new value. So that's essentially what it does and then this will just stream down from, from Firebase as well. Same thing goes for the date picker, but that's a little bit more complicated. And how that works is that it uses a date picker Firebase uh, update. And let's have a look at that one. If we just... Uh, Double click it, we should be able to get to the... Oh wait, well, uh, we'll go to the standard widgets and then we'll... We'll find it here. Here, date picker firebase update. So if we uh, take that one, we send a couple of different daytime functions to that one. And from this, we will uh, show a date picker, which is essentially what you see. And then if the date is selected, we'll also show time picker. And if both of those are completed, we'll... Uh, use database service and update for booking where we again send the booking ID, we update the, the start or end time and then we select where we send the selected date and time. So for example if I go to now Wednesday say I want to book the room on the 30th of October from uh, 6 p.m. and then I want to go to the 30th of October until uh, say 11 p.m. okay then we'll just say okay on the Monday on the 30th of October I've booked a little living room from 6 o'clock to 11.25. So that working, uh, booking works pretty neat. And then we have the last part of this, which is the standard uh, widgets part. And this is just because I like to split it up like this, where I have like database, I have standard widgets, etc. You get the point. And what this does is it takes a uh, user avatar list and it checks, for example, it checks basically if there's this list in Firebase that I have that says internal participants. And it says if the user ID uh, of a particular user is in this list it will say it will show as green and if it's not it will show as red and that's the logic that we have uh, down here so for example if we tap this guy I'll mark him as red this guy I'll mark him as red this guy I'll mark him as red and then if we go back to this database it's only my user ID that's left in the in the booking I'll probably change a little bit of the logic later on so that you can't remove yourself from a booking and your the person who owns the booking will like maybe have some different kind of um, status over here and then we're also going to add another one which is external participants so we'll see how see how that goes but this is pretty good progress so far that we've made uh, it's quite uh, quite clear and we're going to be adding some more stuff later on like we're going to be adding the external participants like i said we're going to be adding comments a little bit of a description uh, what other database fields do we have here we're going to be adding like a privacy feature like how private is this do you want to be disturbed can you not be disturbed etc and then yeah that's pretty much it so we should be should be good to go in a little bit and then after that we'll have both the uh, we'll have both this part of the app as well as the 
main page of the app done, which is pretty good progress. So it's 10.30. I'm probably going to go take a little bit of snack. And then we're going to do the skincare routine. Then we're going to head to bed. And that's it for this side. I'm about to. I'm about to. Yo. Yo. I'm about to click out on this shit. I'm about to click. All right, people, that's the end of that day. That was a pretty much a whole Saturday. We did the whole run in the morning. We went to the uh, grocery store. We went rubbish tipping, whatever you call that stuff. We went to the gym. We did a bunch of things, and we got like five, four or five hours of work done on the app, so that's really good. And uh, yeah, quite a productive day. Quite happy with that one. Tomorrow, we're gonna wake up, and I'm gonna film a video that I've been working on for a long time, so it's gonna be quite exciting. If you wanna see that, feel free to subscribe down below. It's completely free of charge. What a bargain. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.